Hi! In today's video we're going to learn how to remove the background of an image using GIMP. If you're working on Scratch, it is simple. You can go to Costumes, you can take the eraser and erase the white part of the image. It works, but the results are not gonna be optimal, okay? To get optimal results, we need to use GIMP. GIMP is a free program you can download from this website, and it works this way. Fine. Open. I'm gonna open the dog. If we have a plain background, same color, we can take the Fuzzy Select tool. We take the first option, we select it, and as you see, it selects the white part. As we are interested in the dog, select Invert, now we have the dog, Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste as New Image. And here we have our dog. Now, File, Export as, and this is very important, the extension has to be PNG. If we now import our dog, what we get is this. So as you see, this is perfect. Another example. What if we have to remove both this background and these small circles? Well, I'm gonna use the same tool. First of all, you will note the selection doesn't attach to the outline. That's because of the threshold, okay? If we wanna make it less sensitive to this different color, now you will see it attaches perfectly. Now we have to select these other ones. If I select this, I lose the other selection. So, what I need to use is this. Add to the current selection. And that way, I can select all of them. And now, same story. Select Invert to select what we're interested in. Edit Copy. Edit Paste as New Image. And here we have it, and now as I've told you, export it as PNG. And now last example. Let's take this dog, which has a background which is not plain. Okay, there are different colors in the background. So we cannot use this tool because of, as you see, this is not gonna select exactly the part of the, of the background we want. So the best solution here is this. Okay, the free select tool. And that we'll have to be patient, we have to zoom in, pressing control and using the mouse wheel. Once we have it, Double click, copy, paste, test, new image. And here you have it, boys. As you see, the results are very good. And there's another thing I want to show you. There is a website called Pixabay where there are millions of photos and images, pictures, whatever you feel like. If you choose the option Vector Graphics, I'm not gonna say all the pictures you find, but a great majority of them won't have a background, okay? They are ready to be used with the background removed. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.